Hello friends, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to use drop shadows to a text or to an image in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get into it. So first we're going to take a solid color as background. To do that, we go to uh, effects library from their generators and then solid color. We drag it to the timeline. Okay, and then we can change the color of the um, background. Now it is um, black by default, so we can change it to any color we want. And then I have got an asset here. It's a DaVinci Resolve logo. Uh, so I'm going to um, bring it to the timeline and place it over the background. So that's uh, that's the logo, DaVinci Resolve. Um, so now I am going to zoom in of this logo because it looks much bigger so to do that you select it and then you go to um, inspector and from there video settings so here we are going to zoom in to 400 maybe or 450 all right and then we can position it according to our preference so probably over there because we want to add a text underneath so now we are going to add a shadow uh, in this logo. Um, so the process is very simple. We go to the effects library and from there open effects. And then if you scroll down, here we have drop shadow effects. We simply need to drag it to the um, logo. So as you can see, a shadow has been created. And now we can customize it. To do that, we select the clip and then we go to uh, inspector and from there effects so here you can adjust the shadow strength as you want and then angle and then drop distance and then of course you can adjust the blur and also we can change the color according to our preferences so let's um, change it to yellow so this is how you can add drop shadow effects to uh, to a text or uh, to a logo or image and it's pretty simple however we have another option to do that so let's say if you want to add a text here we can add drop shadow alternatively so to do that if you want to add text so we go to effects library again and then from there titles so here you have uh, different options of course you can add simple text so if you add simple text uh, then you have to uh, similarly add the drop shadow effects from the open effects library however if you take the text plus uh, title Okay, I'm just going to change the title first. And then I'm going to position it. And then I'm going to increase the size, maybe. Yep, this big. So now if you want to add a um, shadow, drop shadow effect to this text, we don't have to drag drop shadow effects from OpenFX library. So instead we select this clip and then we go to um, title and from there you will have different menus here, text, layout, transform, shading, image, settings. So from here you go to shading menu. And then you select the elements 3 which is black shadow and then you enable it so as soon as you en uh, enable it you see uh, shadow has been created so actually you can customize the shadows much more uh, according to a preference under this under this menu here you can increase or decrease the opacity of the shadow 
according to your preference you can also change the uh, blending mode from composite to transparent or solid color and then change color according to preference you can adjust the softness and then you also can adjust the glow and everything you can uh, position them uh, with more control here you can rotate you can shear you can adjust the size of the shadow so you literally get a lot more options under this menu so friends this is how you can add drop shadow to an image or text using davinci resolve thanks for watching i will see you next time goodbye